this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at managing multi turn conversations in an Alexa skill. So, this is uh, back and forth conversations, and we're going to do that using dialogues or the dialogue model. And we're going to start with just a, um, an Alexa hosted skill. And all of this can be done using the Alexa console. So, we're not going to use any code. There are a, a, a few different ways that you can manage dialogues. And this is one of them. I'll talk about um, managing dialogues with backend code briefly, but we're not going to dive too deeply into that. We'll call this uh, skill Let's Meet. And this is going to be the example that I'm going to use is a skill that lets a user schedule a meeting. So we'll create the skill and we'll use the, the default Hello World template. And while this is setting up, I'll tell you what the skill is going to do. So what the skill is going to do, it's going to prompt the user for the date, time, and their telephone number to schedule a meeting. So we'll ask the user, what day do you want to meet? What time would you like to meet? And then we'll get their telephone number so that we can confirm the, the meeting via text. We're not going to write the code to do the uh, text confirmation right now. We're going to just focus on the, uh, the front end, the interaction model. And like I was mentioning, um, when it comes to managing dialogues in an Alexa skill, you've got a few options. You can use the dialogues model, which is what we're going to use here. And this lets you define all of the prompts and collect all of the information to fill slots using the Alexa service and the interaction model. You can also do this with uh, dialogue delegate directives in uh, backend code. And there is, if you're interested in that, if you go to dabblelab.com slash templates, there's a template called dialogue delegate skill template that we created that um, you can look at. There's a, a tutorial with that as well that goes into managing dialogues or conversations back and forth, multi-turn conversations in code. But here we're gonna use the Alexa console to do everything. So it's nice and uh, nice and easy. So now our skill is set up and we're gonna add a custom intent to um, do the meeting scheduling. So we'll call it schedule meeting intent, I guess. And we'll add a few samples. We'll say schedule a meeting and set up a meeting and book a meeting. And that is enough for now. And so, like I said, we need to collect three pieces of information. We need the, the day, the meeting day, the time, and the user's telephone number. So we'll create three slots. The first one I'm gonna call day, and we'll use a built-in slot type, the Amazon date slot type for that. And then the time for the meeting is our next slot. And there's also a built-in slot type for time that we'll use. And then the last one is the phone number. And there is actually now also a built-in slot type, this Amazon phone number, which is pretty new. I think it's, I, or I didn't notice it, but um, I noticed it, uh, I guess, a couple months ago. So I think it's relatively new. Um, all right, so that now we have our slots and we have our custom intent. Now we need to uh, basically enable the, uh, the the dialogue model. And to do that, all we really need to do is just go set up prompts uh, that Alexa will use, the dialogue model will use to prompt the user to fill these slots. And we'll start with the day slot. And we can do that by just enabling slot filling here. So when we toggle this on, we get these inputs where we can add uh, prompts and um, sample utterances for the expected response from the user. And so for our first one for the day, we'll say, what day would you like to meet? And we'll expect that the user is just gonna respond with the day like that. And for each one of these, you provide a prompt and you provide, and incidentally, you can provide multiple prompts here and then they just get uh, randomly um, used so to kind of vary the conversation to make it a little bit more natural and example utterances you would probably want all of the different variations or as many as that you could come up with for how the user might respond to the the prompt and you also have um, optionally you can enable slot confirmations and this will basically confirm uh, if you turn that on 
you would add some prompt, you know, is, you know, is this your number? And, and actually I'll do that for phone number. I'm not going to do that for each one because the user experience is kind of rough if after every prompt you also gather the information and have them confirm. So I don't like doing that, but um, we'll do it for the phone just to illustrate the point. So we're going to do the same thing for time. We'll toggle this on and say what time would you like to meet? And we'll expect the user to respond with the time. And then um, the phone number, we're going to do the same thing. We'll say, uh, what can we say here? So um, we'll say I'll confirm the meeting via text. What is your mobile number? And we're going to expect that the user is going to respond with their mobile number. And this one we will confirm. So we'll toggle this on here. And we'll say something like, um, I heard, and then whatever they said. Is that correct? And so this one, we, we are going to hear a, uh, a confirmation. And at this point, we're done. I'm going to save this and we're going to build the model. And while that's building, I'm just going to talk through kind of what was going on behind the scenes. If you go to the JSON editor, you can see that um, the interaction model, we've got our intent that we created and our slots. And then if you come down here, this is the dialog model that was added. And if you look in the dialog model, you can see that um, the dialog has been set up for our schedule meeting intent. And then for each one of the slots, you can see that the slot is eliciting a prompt here. And then there's a, a unique ID for each one of the prompts. So if you come down here, you can find the prompt. Um, what day would you like to meet? What time would you like to meet? All of those that we set up. So. We um, it's it's really easy to do as you can see you can do all that through the uh, the, the GUI and uh, no code required so we'll test this out just to show you go to test here and enable testing and I we've called the skill let's meet so we'll uh, we'll just go Alexa open let's meet welcome. You can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Schedule a meeting. What day would you like to meet? Tomorrow. What time would you like to meet? Noon. I'll confirm the meeting via text. What is your mobile number? 813 -123 -4567. I heard 8,131,234,567, is that correct? Yes. You just triggered schedule meeting intent. Okay, so um, obviously we need to do some, some cleanup here. We probably don't want that uh, response like that, but we can use um, SSML to, uh, to say that in a way that's uh, a little less, um, let's do that actually, a little, little less or a little more clear to the user. So we'll go to our um, phone number here, uh, what, actually up here, phone number slot. And then down here we'll use, in any one of these you can use um, SSML. So we'll use speak. And then there is a, um, a, a tag called uh, the say as. So say as and then interpret as and phone actually it's telephone and we'll close that And D E R P E R T P R. That's not right. 
interpret as. Okay, I think that's right. And we'll save this. And let me just look one more time before I build that. Say as, interpret as. All right. We'll build that. And while that's building, we'll also go just make a quick change here so that the launch phrase makes more sense. We'll say um, to schedule, or what can we say? Hello, you can schedule a meeting. Just say, <laughs> say schedule a meeting. All right. And that looks good. We'll deploy that. We'll test this one more time and um, just should have what we're looking for. All right. Start this over. You really don't need to do this. You also don't need to say Alexa here. I'm just using that. You could just say, um, Let's meet. Hello, you can schedule a meeting. Just say schedule a meeting. Schedule a meeting. What day would you like to meet? Tomorrow. What time would you like to meet? 10 a.m. I'll confirm the meeting via text. What is your mobile number? 813-123-4567. I heard 813-123-4567, is that correct? That's correct. You just triggered schedule meeting intent. Okay, so that's it. That is using dialogues with um, the, uh, the dialogue models in the interaction model. So uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. If you have any comments or questions, uh, hopefully this was helpful, but if you have any questions or comments, let me know and I'll respond just as quickly as possible. If this was helpful, please uh, like the, the video or share the video or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and that is youtube.com slash data lab. Thanks so much.